wondering, what's the best way to lead someone to the Lord? And is it okay to just say the sinner's prayer with them? Well, yes. And that basically covers a lot of other prayers of people who came to Jesus. Remember the woman caught in adultery, thrown at Jesus' feet. And uh, Jesus, uh, um, he, she said, he said to her, where are your accusers? As they all left one by one, as Jesus wrote in the sand. And, and uh, he, she said, there are none, Lord. She called him Lord. And then Jesus said, go and sin no more. We remember the thief on the cross saying, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Uh, when you look at all these different little verses that really changed a whole person's direction in their life. But the Bible says, if we'll confess with our mouth, believe in our heart, that, the, that God raised Jesus from the dead, we'll be saved. And uh, again, I believe it's just simply a decision that we make that we genuinely mean. Your thoughts, Jeff? Yeah, I think that uh, there's a lot of controversy out there right now. Uh, the Lord's Prayer is under attack by some quarters of the body of Christ. And um, having to do with people just saying, well, you know, there's going into the altar and saying some prayer by rote it doesn't really mean anything and they're never changed they never show any real um demonstrable fruits uh to prove that they've been saved uh you know they they keep living the same old life and so the lord's prayer doesn't really it's not really something that that works and my answer to that is if you look at it closely you'll find that the ones that don't include repentance it's just, uh, you know, Lord, um, you know, I, I believe on you. Um, I receive you as my Savior. Amen. Uh, and then they fill out a card and go home. That's not really, uh, to my mind, a full Lord or re, uh, prayer of salvation. A, a real prayer of salvation is always going to include repentance. First word out of John the Baptist's mouth when he started preaching, repent. The very first word Jesus said when he started to preach was repent. And uh, day of Pentecost, Simon Peter, they, what must I do to be saved? Repent. So repentance is the first step in any genuine prayer of salvation. You've, you're, you're a person who has come under conviction for your sin. You know that you're a sinner in the eyes of God. The Holy Spirit has convicted you. And the first thing you want to do is say, Lord, forgive me for the terrible sin that has characterized my life. And because that's why Christ came, to forgive us of our sins. That's why his blood was shed, to forgive us for our sins. So to not include repentance in, a, in anything called a Lord's uh, prayer or prayer of salvation is to miss the mark. So I just like to qualify the whole controversy with that one distinction that if you're really going to get saved, you got to begin with, Lord, I'm convicted. Man, I've been wrong my whole life. I've been in sin. I, I've sinned grievously against you. As David the psalmist said, against you and you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. And uh, so you start there, then you go, and Lord, I place my faith in you as my Savior and Lord. Come into my heart, be the Lord of my life. Uh, from here on out to the end of my days, that to me is a genuine prayer of salvation. Amen.